We have a cutscene! Lucia, Ashton, are you sure you want to do this? The words of Ike ring in on my ears. We were so trapped by our own ideas that we were unable to sympathize with your feelings. I'm terribly sorry. Because the two of you think to put me above all else, you see, you will sacrifice your lives for me. Yet, even if I'm able to borrow of Ike's strength and win back Crimea, if the cost of that victory is lies to two of you, I shall never smile again. And Joy? Never again will that emotion fill my heart. Ah, poor Alincia. Princess Alincia. Please aid Ike and rescue Joffrey and the others. Then return to me. Come back alive. For you, we would we would the world itself depart. We'll be back. They'll move heaven and earth to see Alincia smile, I guess. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, Louis C. and Bastion decided to join the party. First Bastion, he's a sage. Not a very good one, I'm afraid. Considering his stats... Well, his stats are okay, but his level is just way too high to make good use of them. He is an El... He is... Elwind and Stone and Stiletto Knife. I believe it's effective against armors in this game. He also has Corrosion. B and Fire, C and Lightning, and A and Wind. So if you want to use Tornado, I guess... Again... Not so bad in stats, but the fact that he's high level is just no. Lucia, she's a sword master. She's in the same boat as Bastion. She's got a silver sword and a Laguz guard. She also has parody and Miracle swords. Like I said, same same boat as Bastion. Okay stats, but way too high level to make use of them. Although their growths are. Actually, pretty damn good. The fact that you actually get them to be of usable, usable levels when you have potentially other characters that are going to be like really better. Like in Bastion's case, you'd have Sora and Liliana, and in Lucia's case, you'd have Mia, Zahark, or Stefan. Let's do this. Hello! I'm Rickard. Your corpse will be the sustenance that feeds my hunger for fame! Parody! Well, feed on this! Take this, bratty girl! Double critical! No matter one's proven deeds, one defeats on one defeat one man's soul. And so it ends. <laughs> Good night, Sir Prince. Er, sweet prince. Ah, uh, butcher the quote. No. Call yourself a sword knight, please. You make you make Fergus look like actually, well, Fergus is Fergus. He's fucking god. Better than fucking Beowulf. Although not better than Nephi 4 Delmud. By saying that, I kinda spoiled something there. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, well, you've got half a brain. You know what I'm talking about. You'd know. You'd you'd figure out what I was about to say. Anyway, back to ram ranting, ramble, ramble, rambling, ramble. Dramatic aeroplane animations. You, 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 you silly fool! Marsh has exactly twice your health. And, like, a million times you're awesome. Well... And then there's you.
Stun Smash! I don't know why I was quiet there. I was just thinking about something, I guess. Hulk! Dead! That's right, get back to your post and kill things. Go! Lance Lance of Awesome! Kill things. See, these are awesome NPCs. Not like the f fail NPCs that are usually litter a uh, fire emblem. Now that I remember that, uh, Eagle Rafi was talking about that. Oh, no, not, not the Eagle Rafi. Uh, Gorondi, his sister. Or, yeah. She was talking about that. Hey, we got a Bazooka! With a killer axe, too. Mm. Oh, yes. Bazooka! Yeah, Gorondi was talking about how the NPCs are usually so fail in Fire Emblem games. And yet, they, and yet, and how she and Eero off your just like, like, we gotta save the NPCs before they kill themselves, because we're perfectionists. Don't blame the two. Don't blame the two at all. I would probably do the same. <laughs> You're part of the army that brought the princess, aren't you? Oh, you've done a great thing! I've been hiding the scroll so I can give it to you. Here's a drive Dane out of our homeland. You can do it! Well, thank you! Nil scroll get! And then you have instances where the NPCs can actually hold their own. Like this chapter. And then again, you haven't seen nothing yet. Wait till it gets to Radiant Dawn, where the NPCs kick ass! Most of the time. <laughs> then again, most of the, most of the NPC ass kickingness is usually mitigated by the fact that the enemies are all, also have high end stats. Mainly because of Radiant Dawn's nature. But again, we'll get to that later. For now, it's back to the Killer Lance. Pokage, Step, Dead, Death. Oh, we got a critical! You bitch! <laughs> you got a critical hit! Impressive! No, 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 seriously, no, someone give that day and night a medal! He critical the general of the army. I'll take my health back. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just rolling in laughter right now. Raids, the movie, starring Dan Green as Ike. I would pay to see that. I would pay to see that. If you can have some sort of middle ground, because the Dan Green voice we're all used to kind of doesn't fit Ike at his age. Maybe Radiant Dawn, but if, if Dan Green could use some middle ground voice, like between uh, his voice between Yugi and Yemi then that'd be pretty good. That'd be a pretty good voice for Ike. I have to say. Polk! Oh! Nice! See? The NPCs are awesome! They kick ass! No! Sniper! Generic sniper! You will be remembered. Your memory will live on the might of Marsh's Lance. I don't know. Dramatic arrow pulling animation. 
on the on the subject of Dan Green being Ike, uh, someone give me a good female voice actress for Marsha. That would fit her pretty well. Cause there are a bunch of good ones. Just I don't know which one would fit Marsha. I think I'll just throw this one out at random if Trent ever watched these. I mean, he said to me that he doesn't watch me going random banter on this game, even though we do it all the time in Matt's videos. Maybe Michelle Ruff. Let's just say Michelle Ruff. Oh! I'm these guys are awesome! Get out of the house. Fuck you guys and run.